Alright, now comes uh, one of my favorite parts in the whole model making nerdy process is uh, putting on some decals. So, first we gotta find some. I've just searched caution decals or warning decals or blah 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 stickers and just find a couple ones that you like. You could, um, you can be, uh, do one of these things. You copy, paste it, just delete all that, um, whatever's in the background. Oops. Yeah. Select the background, delete it. So we have a nice transparent image. Then make sure you save these as uh, PNG. So that way that, that will retain the transparency information there. So I've just gone ahead and done a bunch of them. Um, these are all, a lot of them have transparency and some of them are don't, but a lot of them do. Anyway, so now let's go back to Blender once you've got some of those stickers. And we're going to add them in with Shift A. I'm in object mode, by the way. Shift A, image, images as planes. And if you don't see this option, that means you're, you don't have the add-on installed, but you should see that by default. But anyway, if you don't, just go to Edit, Preferences, then Add-ons, and then search for Images. And make sure this is checked on, and then you can save your preferences. This one. Okay, so this is a really, really great little add-on that lets us go to our folder of decals and just grab all of them actually let me grab um, I want to get only the PNGs at this point let me see do, 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 do. all the PNGs oops you can hit B to or just drag to select a bunch of PNGs and this is by type I guess yeah sorting by type all right, so now down here, I think all of our settings are good, except I want offset to be zero, and I want the I want the dimensions to be by DPI and about 300 DPI, and I think that's good. So let's try that out. Let's check them out. Okay, and. Um, so all these guys have transparency, but they, they don't seem to be showing up because we need to add this in. There's one extra step where you go Shift V and change this from opaque to alpha blend. And then you'll start to see them popping up like that. I think these are actually some Gundam logos up there. But anyway, Good times. I wish you could just select them all and do it at the same time, but I don't think that works. No. Well, can skip ahead here. But then the idea is we we can use these as stickers and just paste them on uh, using our snapping to surface is really nice okay so uh, let me let me grab all this stuff here and just I guess I should put this into a collection too let me press M to create a new collection M as in uh, mouse and then let's call this decals okay then it'll show up on the top right here under in this little collection box and that just lets us hide and show them all at once. All right, so which one do I want to use? Let's see, I'll grab this one. Alt D will duplicate it, linked, and then Control will snap. But actually, I want to change my snapping settings a little bit. And also, let me turn off cutters. So Control B, toggle cutters, so that it doesn't snap to those. So right now it's snapping to edges, verts, and faces, but really what I want is I'm going to go up here and make it only faces. And also, I want it to align to the faces. So that means like if, we, if we're holding down control, I'm moving, holding control, and as I turn the corner, it'll also turn the corner. So this is really nice for stickers. And also, you, you might notice that it's like 
we have some Z fighting here where the, the two surfaces are exactly on top of each other, which glitches out like that. So what we can do to fix that is just grab all these, go into faces mode, and let's just move them a tiny bit forwards. You can see that it's popping in and out over there in the background. So let's make it so that it stays up front. And now we can just play with this, Alt D, Control, Alt D, holding control. Let's see. Alt D, control, S. D, control. That's it, guys. It's pretty easy once you got this all set up. I'm going to go around and kind of put these everywhere. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah. I don't know if this makes sense either. Would there be falling objects in space? I don't know. Another thing you could do is like, let's say we have a sticker sheet with uh, a bunch of stuff. You could, um, let's do Shift D to duplicate this non-linked so we can edit this one without screwing up the original. And what you could do here is like, let's say I want to cut out this row, I'll do Control R and just draw a little row in there and Control R, and Control R, Control R. So you could cut out your stuff like that. Oops. And then once you got one that you want, you just duplicate it. Shift D, P to separate it, and then Control Shift right mouse. Oh, sorry, Control Shift right mouse to lock that in to the center there. And then you can move it forwards a little bit. And now you got a new sticker. Make that bigger. So you can make your own sticker sheet like this and. Uh, go to town. Again, let me do it one more time here. Let's say I want this. So we pick this, Shift D, P to separate, and then Control Shift right mouse. And we can move it forwards a tiny bit. Alt D. and approved. Yeah. You can also adjust the this one here. Get that nice and flat. Liquid nitrogen. Another thing you could do is um, you might want to add in a couple edges here. So I can say four edges here. By hitting Control R, type in four, and then Enter, Enter. And now this thing can actually be projected um, onto the surface here with a snap. You turn on Project Individual Elements. At least it should. Hmm. Maybe not because it's linked. Let me try to go to, to the geometry here, and if I hit this number two, it'll unlink it. So now this is like a single copy of this mesh. And then I can try that again. Oh, holding down control. Oops, that's what I forgot. You have to hold down control to get this to work with the snapping. Oops. Maybe it's better from the side view here. Turn that back off.
Alright, so this is uh, pretty self-explanatory, so feel free to just skip ahead. I'm just going to com continue placing all these decals everywhere. And uh, yeah, have fun with it. What the hell is this? Ooh, it's a good one. Danger moving robot. Of all the people getting brutally killed in uh, emoji form, stick man form, I guess. <sighs> okay, so all these decals here should be in our little decal set. Let me, um, hmm. I could pick one of the decals and go control space select similar. So again, that's pick one decal, control space, similar, and then you could say by select by collection. So here's everything in our collection. We deselect all these guys, and then Shift X Live Mirror. Damn it! Does not work as well as I thought it would. Um, hmm. All right, let me put all of these into a new collection because I don't actually want them to be separated from these. So I'll say, um, here, actually, let me grab all this. So I want to separate these onto their own collection. So I'll press M, new collection, and then decal prototypes. Okay, so that way we can at least hide the prototypes. And then maybe we could go um, Shift A, Collection insta Instance, and Instance the decals. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's, let's go up to here. Make sure the location of this instance is at 0, 0, 0. So now it's right on top of the old collection but we can just scale it negative one in X and that'll mirror everything over it'll be backwards but um, I'm a little bit lazy today so that's fine fine with me the cool thing is whenever we add more stuff to this um, say we add two more stickers over here so of course it's gonna up update because we're using collections really nice
actually we probably need some of these over here. I guess that's kind of weird, but it's okay. Hmm, I forgot about this one here. Let me try to fix this. Seven is so weird. Doesn't seem to stick onto uh, pipes as well, but it's okay. one in here that was eh, you know what I'm gonna save it here before we lose all this work and um, but you get the idea see you in the next video